Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So this is Dimitri. Today we're going to be working with a speed.net core and I'm going to show you how to work with link and we're going to create a quick and very easy API. So I'm going to show you what we're going to do. So we have a table here. We got make, city and price in dollars. Okay. So I'm just going to create an API that retrieves the values called Nissan. So we're going to retrieve all the cars under this name. So if I scroll down, you'll see that there's only one car under this name. Okay. So my API should get me only one value. All right. Let's start with the query. Let's start with creating the API. Okay. So I'm going to call an HTTP request and it's going to be a get because we're trying to get some data from the database. All right. Next step, we're going to create our public I enumerable because we're trying to get some data. So we have to implement the I enumerable. And then here I'm going to pass my object which is going to be my model so if you come here to your right i'll see that i have a model called car if i click on my model i'll see all my properties here so i have a make i have a city i have a price if we come back here i'm going to work with that object which is car okay next step I'm going to give it a name. So I'm going to call this method Nissan. Why? Because I'm just going to retrieve uh, all the cars that are Nissan. Okay. All right. Let's uh, continue with the link query. I'm going to create a variable. Let's just call it Nissan. And then I'm going to say, okay, this variable is equal to from n, this could be n or e or r, any name that you want. I'm just going to call it n because of Nissan. In my database context, which in this case, in my case, is called context. And then my object, which is car. And then here I'm just going to type my condition. So in this case, I want to work with the where condition. And I'm going to say, okay, my n that I just created here, it's going to call my property. So n dot, and if you see here, you can call your car ID, your city, your make. So we're interested in the Nissan, which is a make. So I'm gonna call my make. Then I'm going to say equal. So in this case, don't forget to use two equals. Then I'm going to say, okay, I want a Nissan. All right. And I want this to be, I want to select this N. Okay, perfect. So we're done with the link query, but now we have to return something. Okay, so I'm just going to call this return my variable which is Nissan as a list okay perfect so if I come to my application okay let's just save this and if I come here and I type slash cars because that's the that's my controller name and then my um, Nissan, which is my method, okay? So if we come here, my method is Nissan, okay? So slash cars, because it's my controller, then slash Nissan. This is going to give me all the values that match the Nissan value. Okay, so you can uh, take a look at it just one value which is Nissan over here in the city of Milwaukee with the price of $110 and then you got the controller here which is cars and then the method which is Nissan okay 
let's just create something else so let's say that you're going to create a dashboard and you need to create different uh, and independent methods for different makes so let's just copy and paste this and in this case I want to call this Subaru and then let's just call this Subaru method okay just make sure that, it, that you change the name of your variable so let's just call it Subaru and let's just call this S okay so since you're changing the S you gotta change it everywhere okay and then you want to select the S and here instead of Nissan you want your Subaru okay perfect so I have a different method here and I still I want to get some data from my model which is the same model that we're working with in the other method okay and this should work so if we come back to our application and instead of Nissan we type Subaru okay it's not working let's see what's going on let's just save this and let's just type it again Subaru okay I got my controller Subaru and if I hit enter let's just give it a second and let's just go back to the application and you'll see your Subaru here so there's only one Subaru which is the car ID number 8 and that's gonna be my second API so that's basically how you guys work with link so you can uh, create multiple link queries assign different names and uh, different conditions okay so I hope you guys like the video and I'll see you in the next video.